Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the cry for peace and safety or peace and security is growing louder, not just for the entire world, but more specifically right now involving the nation of Israel. A couple days ago, I covered this story, like you can see on the screen right here, how the United Nations chief invoked recently Article 99 of the United Nations Charter to secure a ceasefire in Gaza. This is all about calling for an immediate ceasefire, all about peace and safety, peace and security. Shortly after I did that video, the United States vetoed Article 99 of the United Nations Charter. And I knew as soon as the United States vetoed this, that the cry for peace and safety, peace and security, the cry for an immediate ceasefire between Israel and Hamas was going to grow louder. Which brings me to what I want to share with you guys today. Uh, there's many different sources reporting on this. This is huge, folks, and we're going to talk about why it's huge in a second. This is recently in from The New Arab. United Nations General Assembly set to hold emergency meeting on Gaza. Let me read some of this to you guys. The 193-member United Nations General Assembly has announced that it will hold a special session on Gaza to take place on Tuesday, December 12th. That's tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, December 12th, a press statement issued by the UN General Assembly president confirmed on Sunday. President of the UN General Assembly, Dennis Francis, has just informed member states that he will convene the 45th plenary meeting of the 10th emergency special session of the General Assembly on Tuesday, tomorrow, December 12th. Egypt and Marichuania, if I'm saying that right, had formally requested a meeting by invoking the UN uh, General Assembly Resolution 377, 377, uniting for peace in a letter to President Francis. The move comes after the US vetoed on Friday a UN Security Council demand for immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. Thank you to my brother in Christ, Tyler, over at Generation 2434 channel, uh, who had sent me this. In case you're wondering what Resolution 377 is, like you can see on the screen right here, invoke Article 377. The most important part of Resolution 377A is Section A, which states that where the Security Council, because of lack of unanimity of the permanent members, fails to exercise its primary responsibility for the maintenance of internal peace and security, peace and security, the General Assembly shall seize itself of the matter. There you have it, peace and security, right in the text there, right in Resolution 377. I mean, folks, this is incredible. Again, you just had the United Nations General Assembly announce it will hold a emergency session tomorrow, Tuesday, December 12th. And Egypt and Marichuania formally requested a meeting for this meeting to take place by invoking the UN General Assembly Resolution 377, uniting for peace, right in your face, folks. And it has peace and security right in the text. Now, why is this so significant? Well, again, when you go to the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 1 to 4, the Apostle Paul records the following. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord is referring to the coming seven-year tribulation period. So, you're, uh, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, or other translations render it peace and security, peace and security, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. We are told very clearly that we will see the day approaching. 
And it's going to be at a time when they are saying peace and safety or peace and security, peace and security. And then what happens? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So it talks about an escape there. So what's the escape from? Well, we know according to scripture that Jesus Christ is going to rapture all of those that are born again believers in Jesus Christ before the tribulation period begins. So there will be a sudden rescue, rapture, before the sudden destruction comes. But I mean, folks, this is something we need to pay attention to. Again, what I just share with you, this directly includes the phrase peace and security. An emergency United Nations General Assembly meeting, which will be, head to, be held tomorrow, Tuesday, December 12th. And it is specifically dealing with Israel, where they will be proclaiming peace and security. Peace and security. And again, they just invoked Article 377, which involves peace and security right in the text. Now, I'm not coming out here saying that definitely something is going to go down tomorrow, that the rapture is going to happen tomorrow or something like this. But what I can tell you is we know what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 to 4. We will see the day approaching. We'll see it approaching, and it's going to be a time when they're proclaiming, they're crying, peace and safety, peace and security. And that's exactly what they're going to be doing tomorrow. I mean, folks, this is incredible. What a time to be watching. What a time to be witnessing for the Lord Jesus Christ. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now. Because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.